what major changes are coming on your way if you want to know stick around but before i do that i want to share some happiness with you my own happiness and um, this is a big journey so i must tell you this because i believe the community i have in tiktok in youtube in instagram you guys are a part of my soul family so you guys send me emails saying that didi you have changed our life didi you have your videos are so motivating you changed us so many things my gratitude to all of you who's just take your time to write the comment here i'm grateful to all of you you say those things but you don't know it's what goes out it comes back you don't know how much you guys helped me to heal in my life how you changed my life so i am always grateful to my community who are as a part of my soul like it's my soul tribe so i wanted to share something with you i think this is something you might get some kind of connection with okay so today i got the information that i my thesis has passed my final that's the final step done so i got my phd so it's just a process of things that this degree certificates and stuff it's just a then the next formalities but yeah i got it and if you are following me you know that i started the submission process more than a year back so many things happened in this journey so many things because i did my phd i finished my phd and i was not working on it i just start some somehow gave up on this and in during my phd i got one of the major Uh, I was the prestigious awards from Engineers Australia for my research, but I somehow gave up. Like things happen in my life, lot of things happen due to which I could not focus on that on you anymore for two years. I was completely detached from that, um, and then my love, my sweetheart, they kept pushing me. So at the end of the day, I submit. I prepared to submit that. When I went to submit that, there was so many things changed in two years. The whole process changed. I had to again go through so many courses and things like certification stuff like that to be eligible to submit for before the submit. But it was a, every time I try to submit something new comes up. Every time I try to something something new comes up. So this was a journey. And um, it might be something I had inside me about the PhD that manifested in the situation, but. it was a really up like to roller coaster drive since i started to submit the original phd was nothing for me but submission process was another phd it was very hard it did push me to a level when i was like about to give up but again thanks to my love kept pushing me anyways so i got it today so i was pretty numb and i then started crying since morning i want to tell you this in life nobody's life is a bed of roses nothing that it, it can be the situation the way we plan things won't go there might be much more difficulties much more problems than you expect it doesn't really mean that you give up on that you keep pushing keep pushing it might be harder but you can do it if i could do this you can do this it you whoever you are standing in a situation in your life if you think that it is something that i can't do anymore i can't push myself anymore this is done and dusted trust me you don't know my life what i have been through i have walked on fire and from where i came up and i finished this today and i got this letter today it is something it's i'm not saying i did something extraordinary but yes i'm proud of myself for this and i'm grateful to universe and my ma for this day that i'm i could see this so keep pushing if you feel like it's the moment of giving up when you just try to give up this is the time the thing situation changes this is the time the turn comes so keep pushing and believe in yourself that you can do it all right i wanted to share this to you many people will be saying oh you give too much of lecture but that's okay i don't care this is lecture is not for those people these are the people who love me and they accept me the way i am and i'm proud of you guys and yeah this is what is and yeah um somebody asked me before what was your phd all about yeah i did um uh, phd on renewable energy system i am an electrical engineer i have done my masters in control system engineering um but then my phd is all about um designing a community owned stand uh, stand alone uh, power system for using renewable energy system so if that makes sense to you you know it um anyways thank you so much for your love and support so let us see my lecture is over 5 minutes sorry about that so uh, let us see what big changes coming on your way pray to your divine and let us see i will take five cards to say that let's see like read that. the high priestess shakti oh my gosh the moon chandra
the creator brahma the tower killer and the last one the judgment jyoti at the bottom of the deck chariot now moon is something going on in your mind i think i said these things for a reason somewhere you are stuck in your mind this is the moon is a confusion is all of negative things going on in your mind it is all holding you back that is something it's not letting you go forward you are thinking too much negative you are feeling indecisive you are feeling stuck you are feeling sad depressed anxious you feel like nothing is going in the direction that i was thinking <laughs> i said that for a reason oh my gosh yeah this is what is going on in your mind but this high priestess is shakti see that same moon here on ma durga's forehead all right that is what it is showing you and this is ma durga and this is the demon if you if you hindu you don't know the story but if you don't know ma durga is shakti is a version of ma kali all right or ma kali is a version of ma durga she is a shakti divine feminine so she can be the softest feminine and when it is needed she can take her sword or she can take her trishul that's the trident and kill the demon so she's killing the demon she's the only one who could kill the demon and here in your mind all those things going on but you have the inner strength to kill the demon the demon is sitting inside you that is the one that is saying all the negative thing to you you can't do this there are a lot of problem there are a lot of difficulties this is bad this is bad this is bad all the negative things they are saying to you this inner demon sitting there inside you but you have the power to win over the demon and get the success that you want or the whatever you are standing to win that situation you have the power so this is what it is so your third eye believe in your intuition not on your ego all the negative things saying inside you that cannot be your intuition this is negative thing this is your ego talking it is giving you it is our maybe our body it's our you know you know in our system trying to always protect us that is trying to tell you oh that is danger that is danger some oh it is not going to be good for you this is bad everything is bad it is not oh, okay you know this is actually triggering you inside you your limited beliefs your um self sabotaging behavior your negative self talk that i am not good enough for this i am not worthy enough for this i probably can't do this this is not for me this is not something i can achieve this person is not for me this job is not for me this luck is not for me this is sitting inside you you need to kill it with this 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 trident and that trident is your knowledge that's your power your intuition so be in tune with your thought like you know intuition when you are going through this kind of situation offer a prayer to whoever you believe your god your allah your jesus i i'm not i don't i'm not very good knowledge about all the religions but i only believe everything goes to the prayers to the same so if i didn't take your um religion's name please don't blame me for that because it's my shortage of knowledge okay whatever is coming in my mind i'm just saying that so whoever you believe in pray offer a prayer to them because nobody is more powerful than god nobody is more powerful than divine when we just get too much caught in the 3d's and in social media these and that we get detached from the god once you be reunited with your god be connected to the god you will see you will feel the peace of mind so bring yourself back to the divine faith so you know offer a prayer to god believe that god is working in my favor they will do, they were listening to my prayers and my prayers are answered already answered and whatever's negative saying inside you just kill that just say that to this inner voice that negative voice i'm not going to listen to you everything is working in my favor because my divine is working in my favor they are bringing everything that i need in my life everything is working in my favor okay keep saying that and once you do that that come the brahma brahma is the creator of the world as per hindu we hindus we believe you don't have to be hindu believe in hindu hinduism all it says for your religion who is the creator you when you align with them you offer the prayer and you believe that it is working you co create your reality that's why the brahma comes in so once you let go that negative thought once you let go those negative feelings that is sitting inside and talking bullshit to you kill that then you be aligned with the creator and you co create the your reality and i'm sensing whoever you are sensing that i'm getting somehow you are going through a spiritual awakening because i'm being drawn to my mas third eye here and also this lotus flower this lotus flower representing this our crown chakra is opening so you are being opened and your third eye is opening you are opening to the divine so you are being more spiritually inclined and you are aligned with the higher self so more you practice 
meditation more you practice grounding yourself walking outside hugging a tree you praying to god offering a prayer to god and you know you you know meditation and you know more believing in your intuition and positive thoughts and self love this is how you connect to god this is how you connect to god connect to god go back to the divine go back to god there is nothing more powerful than god or divine or the universe what you call them your higher self be aligned with your spiritual self okay if you don't believe in a particular god that's okay that's a universe same thing so allah be aligned because your higher self is connected to the universe believe in your own power that everything lies within you okay so this is very important once you be aligned you co create your reality the kila is something that brings kila is a broken like a tower a kila is a broken house okay it's like an old broken house look at this this kila it's like a destroyed lot of you know weeds and everything and the tower is it's the time to break that broken thing whatever the broken beliefs were sitting inside them they don't they don't serve you any good that shit show is sitting within you and just talking bullshit kill that demon break that belief system of fears okay that you know there is some people believe that it is very smartness that um, it's like we are being modern very you know educated that we don't believe in god honey i have studied in engineering i never found anything that says that there is no god okay up to whatever education minds i don't know how it put people today is to show that oh there is no god i am bullshit if that is smartness okay you are smart i am not in that in your religion in in your language but i know what i am anyways so pray offer a prayer more you offer prayer to whoever you believe in more you get the peace of mind religions are for a reason and even if you don't believe in religion believing in universe that there is a universe who is co-creating with me and you can only co-create good cool things about with with the universe only when you think good about yourself you love yourself self love so in our hinduism we believe god is within us and if any in religion if you believe that god created us you should love us first because we are the creation of god if you don't love yourself you are not connected to divine so start with the self love even if you don't believe in any religion start with the self love because you are creating your world right so give yourself the love bring that down that negative thought process oh nothing works for me i am so unlucky i'm bad this is going to be to be bad for me what you believe that creates your reality so now change your belief system if you think negative about your power remind yourself i am powerful the power is within within me i can create my reality so just focus on the things that you want in your life don't focus on negative things focus on the positive things in your life that what you believe that you want is already existing already here it is existing in this reality only it is a maybe different timeline but it's already exist in this in this reality believe that and then the judgment jyoti judgment is this this healing power is coming on your way and this person is meditating is uh, meditating buddha buddha so what we can see that the power is within you you when you start loving yourself your healing starts you get the jyoti jyoti means the like the light or the brightness or the knowledge whatever you call it here so that comes so you let go the negative feelings be in tune with your god be in tune with your, your higher self and your divine and then the healing starts wherever you are your healing starts the god is kind the universe is kind only when you are kind to yourself you love yourself give yourself the compassion everything that you need love yourself be obsessed with yourself and then whoever you want will be obsessed with you whatever you want you will attract it towards you but when you don't love it you don't attract the things that is good for you yes once you do that the chariot starts the movement starts rath that's the chariot so that chariot starts so all you need to do right now let go your negative thought process let go your limited belief about your your abilities and your power you can do it you can fucking do it all right and you love yourself be obsessed with yourself all right and i wish you every success and i am grateful to all the love and support i get from all of you you guys are amazing thank you so much bye